Hello guys and welcome back to the Division 2 beta my friends. Today we're diving back into the action. Acetas we're going to be carrying on for where we last left off. And Acetas I'm having so much fun with this beta. So hopefully you're all enjoying watching these videos too. And if you have been participating in the Division 2 beta. Hopefully you're having a great experience with it. And having a lot of fun with it as well. Well Acetas. Aaron Cooper's got some more slaying to do. But literally, here in the UK today, my friends, the Seaters of the Web has been absolutely belting it down today. Literally, it's been thrown down all day, and I thought, do you know what? It's my day off work, so... It's a perfect day for video games, you know what I mean? Perfect day to be recording. Don't go outside. I don't want to get drenched. You know what I mean? So, at least it's nice weather in the division, you know what I mean? Alright, let's try and make it to my objective. <clears throat> So hopefully you're all having a marvellous day today, that you're all safe and well. Got some enemies up ahead. Let's take them out. <laughs> this gun's amazing, my friends. This is RPK. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Alright, let's go some enemies. Absolutely slaying them with this thing. Also going to be on a little hunt for loot as well. Let's get rid of this enemy. There we go. Yeah, I just want to try and find some more loot. Because I want to try and uh, find some weapons. Or some more normal gear that I could use. I was not to say there's enemies up ahead, but they're not enemies. Guys are just patrolling the area, doing their own little thing. It's telling me I can go through here, but I can't go through there. So I'm kind of confused. I think, yeah, the the mini map objective like objective marker trail needs to kind of be fixed because you can't go that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an alternative route and go around. Because I don't think the game's programmed for me to walk through buildings like that. Especially when there's no proper doorway for me to go through. Got some more over here. <clears throat> I can't pick up any more of that. Um, let's have a look around here. Oh. It's all about that loot. So yeah, let me know down below in the comment section, guys. Are you going to be picking the full game up on the Division 2 on March the 15th? Let me know, and if so, what platform are you going to be picking this game up on? Man, this RPK is beast. I wish I could put some attachments on it, like, to make it better, but I don't think you can get attachments within the beta. Um, obviously, in the full game, you're going to get scopes and stuff and everything, but... You know what I mean? I, w I just wish I could. An extended mag on that, a grip. Maybe a nice little sight on it. Right, let's go in here. Let's see what's around here. Right, gain access to the, the cache. Look over the sentiment. Oh, what? Well, I'm going to get my words out. SDH. Tech cache. Oh, days. I've got some enemies. Let me pep it a little bit. I need to be careful. Does not want to got enemies all around me right now. Alright, it's been taken care of. He's dropped some loot for me. I've literally got enemies all around me right now, so I need to be really, really careful about my positioning. Let me try and pop them all off quickly and try and move into a, a better position. No, 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 no. Careful, Aaron. There we go, there we go. Oh my days. Right. 
Come on, Seeker Mime, I need you for this one. Cheeky grenade over there as well. Nice. Oh my days. Come on, bro, just go away. There we go. Nice. Oh, it's got some loot in this area as well, so I'm just going to have a little nosy around as well. While I'm progressing through the area, just see if we can find some more loot. Obviously, when it comes to the SHD tech caches and stuff, I'll probably do quite a lot of them off camera or something. I might do a few on videos, but I'm not sure yet. Because I've got a... Basically, from a mate of mine who's been playing this beta, he's been collecting them and told me he's got some really, really awesome weaponry from them. So it's like, well... I like the sound of awesome weaponry, so... I don't know if I'll bore you guys and go around collecting them all on videos, or whether I'll just do a few on videos and do the rest off camera, I do not know. But we'll see guys, we'll see, okay? Okay, why is these doors... Can we blow them open? Yes, we can. Come in, boys. I've got a read on his position. Looks like it's somewhere below you. Alright, got loot. Okay, there's nothing there right now. Loving the intense music right now, like the proper intense battle music. Like you just know something's gonna go down. A vending machine over here. Get myself a drink of cola. Dropping down from here. You're right on that shade tech cash. Alright, we got quite a lot of enemies in this area, so let's take care of them. One seek of mimes. <laughs> nice. Don't mess with me and my RPK, because this thing's just beast. I know how to fire a gun. I'm a Call of Duty player, so I know how to fire weapons when it comes to games. You don't want to mess with me. Just going to have a little look around in this area before I proceed downstairs. Just in case, because you never know what you're going to find up here. But they did say I was near enough on top of the uh, tech cache, so I'm assuming that's in this area. But still, always on the hunt for loot, you know what I mean? Always loot everywhere when you're playing the division. Let's grab this. Multiple hostiles inbound. Ah, great. Someone brought the cavalry. There's nothing here. Alright, come on ladies, let's dance, okay? Let's dance. Nice. Uh, okay, you wanna play that game. Biggest mistake you had then was dropping down. He could have stayed in a good height advantage point and stayed in cover and tried to make his make his way around me. But just dropping down and just getting yourself way exposed in the open is just going to get yourself absolutely peppered. There we go, taken out. Alright, let's get this guy. I'm not having anyone shooting me from a side angle, screw that. Come on, pop your head up. Come on, bro, pop your head up. Make this easier. There we go. Nice. 
That's what we're talking about right now, boys. Keep dropping that loot. Aaron Cooper will just keep collecting. You know what I mean? I'm all down for that loot. Come on, boys. Nice. Right, so it looks like we can leave the hotel, but I'm not leaving the hotel empty-handed. You know what I mean? I've got some, quite a bit of loot around this area. We'll find out if there's anything more around here. The exit is up ahead. Time to check out. No problemo, boss. A bit more loot. So these things like um, little items you can scavenge and stuff, I'm assuming that it might be similar to how the Division 1 is, where a civilian might possibly be able to ask you for a certain thing, like for example a bottle of water or something, and in exchange they give you something back. Like in the Division 1 I think there's times where I give someone food or something and they would give me something random like a weapon or some knee pads or something back, which is always cool, you know what I mean? But it looks like we got some more enemies we need to take care of. Come boys! Nice. <laughs> Ooh, okay, this guy's got a shield. Reminds me of my boy Ajax from Black Ops 4. He was all going out there with a the ballistic shield thinking he's going to be safe. But the downside to ballistic shields is, they never protect your feet, okay? So I can get you in the feet, or I'm going to get behind you, or I'm going to stun you with a grenade and just take you out, but you should always cover your feet, you know what I mean? Always. So that's a nice little tip there for you guys, obviously if you are playing these sorts of games and you go up against people with shields. Shooting them in the toes. Right. No, I think it's good, it's good. Alright, we need to leave the hotel. Let's get out of here. I see loot. Plenty of it. Work. Take that Shade Tech cash to the quartermaster when you get a chance. Might as well get some use out of it. No problemo. Right, let's see what sort of things there is for me to do. Right, Jefferson Trade Center. There's a Shade Tech cache in the lab in the basement of the Bureau's headquarters building. That lab was repurposed to decontaminate equipment recovered from the dark zones. It's only a matter of time before the hyenas get in there. So it'd be good to get to that cache before they do. Alright, no problem. So yeah, what, what I'm going to be doing during the time of this beta, guys, is I'm going to try and do everything that I can possibly do. I'm not sure if I'm going to be spending a lot of time in the dark zone. I might do a little something in the dark zone, because at the end of the day, I see it as... I'm more of a story-based guy, so I want to try and do everything in the main story area. And I might I might do a little bit if I get enough time inside the dark zone. You know what I mean? So, but I will do a quite a bit of it off camera as well because I don't want to bore you guys if it is there is a lot of things in this that, you know, you're not really too interested in. Um, but obviously, from what a mate of mine told me about who's been playing a lot of this, he says there's things such as uh, control points that you get to lock down and you can, you know, call in the um, patrol squads to come give you a hand and take over certain landmarks on the area, like in certain areas. Like basically taking over territories. And wiping out enemies, you've got things such as mini missions and stuff, these tech caches that, according to what my mate told me, that give you cool weaponry and stuff, so I'm down for obviously doing all that or doing that sort of thing during the time of the beta. But like I said, some of it I will do on videos, some of it I'll do off camera. But I will give you recaps so then you know what sort of things I've been doing. Right. Team member there. <laughs> it's a good job friendly fire isn't done. I don't want to end up killing my team. Even if you are AI, you know what I mean? I don't want to be killing you guys. You're there to help me. Well, I hope you are. Civilians I can't do all this alone. I'm 
not interested in the echoes at the moment. <clears throat> I think I'll probably pay more attention to the echoes when the full game comes out. Civilians in distress. Right. Just keeping my eyes out as well in case I see any loot. And always keep an eye on that mini map every now and then, just checking, just in case you, you know if any enemies turn up or anything. You need to know where the enemies are. What the fuck? Right, boys. Just ain't happening. You're not you're not coming running at me and smacking me with it with your bat or melee weapon, whatever you're using. I think it's a police baton they're using. I believe it is. Hostile control point identified. There we go. Confused. Uh, okay, we've got nothing better there. Um. Ooh, a lot better. Nice. Um. I think we're all good. Okay, so I was pretty much going the wrong way there. This is where I need to go. The Shane Tech cache is in the lab in the basement. Expect to run into some hyenas. They've been trying to get in there what for the ages. Hell? Hang on, guys. I'm saying that my controller was dying. <laughs> I don't know why it keeps doing that. Let me know down below, in the, down below in the comment section. Does your PlayStation 4 do that quite a bit? Like, I don't know if it's just my controller. Um, but... Kind of annoying because it'll just say like it's died or its battery's low, but then you put it on charge and I've got a full battery. And then I'll take my cable out and it'll say I've got a full battery. So it kind of confuses me. I don't know if I've got a dodgy controller or <laughs> or something like that. Or it's just my PlayStation, you know, having one of them moments. It's only ever done it since I got this controller I got. Like, literally, I picked up this white dual shot controller a little while ago. And, yeah, it's pretty much been doing it since I got that controller. PlayStation, you're giving me some dodgy goods. I want my refund. Well, I'm joking. Nice. Almost level 5 right now, Aaron. Come on. Enemies over there. Might need to push up a little bit. Might need to. But at the same time, I don't want to push up too much. Got that loot. Okay. Let's get in here. Got the loot. Nice. Even more nicer. <laughs> oh, that guy's trying to get grenades across to me. This guy's gonna try and push me too much. He doesn't want no. He doesn't want to give me any chill time. Right. Nice. Ooh, push up. There we go. Go, 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 go. Got an enemy on the left here. Where is he? Is he on the corner? Yeah, there he is, there he is. You alright, bro? <laughs> These guys don't want to mess with me. I'll, I'll, I'll take him down. Right, There's quite a few enemies down there. Nice. Yo, he's got a noob tube. Come on, pop your head up. Where is he? Okay, he's there, he's there. I didn't see him there, he was proper blended in. Alright, come on, bro. Bit of a stupid thing to do, come climbing up here trying to get me. But never mind. Yeah, he's been taken care of. Assistance needed. 
No, I think we're all good. We don't need medical assistance. I've got this under control right now. Um. Right, we need to locate the ba uh, basement entrance. So, wherever that is, we're going to try and find it. But at the moment, I also want to scav like, scavenge the area and see if we can find any loot. Because you know what I mean, boys? Aaron Cooper loves his loot. Uh, right. Is this the entrance? Yes, it is. Bypass security. Alright, reach the laboratory. Alright. Let's see what's in here. Full code? Okay, my boy knows codes right now. <laughs> Even I didn't know the code. So we've got another elevator shaft. Looks like we are going down, boys. It's going down. I'm finding a laboratory. I better move and kick some ass. Viral contamination detected. Alright. So, not a very nice place. System unresponsive. Looks like you're going to need to restore power to get into that lab. There has to be some kind of backup power supply. See I'll see what I can find, boys. Alright, it's gotta be something. Hang on. Door open. Let's see what's in here. Ah! Alright, reactivate the generator. And some loot! I think we're all good right now. Where do we go now? Go on Facebook while we're at it. Local power restored. Well done. You should be able to recover the cash now. Ah, oh, damn it. Just me setting the alarm off. Yeah, I ain't gonna be able to recover the cash yet. Not with these guys. Aaron, we could do this. Nice. Hoo hoo hoo. Alright. Come on, pop your head up. There we go, take it out. Take him, we can take him. Pop your head up. There we go, take him down. Alright, is that it now? Any more, you boys? This guy's going RCXD. Alright, got some knee pads. We'll level up to level 5 as well, boys. Oh my days, they got a boss character with them. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, I need to move. Ooh. Bro, you need to chill out. Oh my days, I'm so low on health right now. This is not good. do this. Just need to make each move count, you know what I mean? It's one. Ooh, come on, Aaron. It's coming closer. Oh, no! Ooh! I'm low on health. 
Die, bro. Come on. There we go. One more, one more. I don't really care about your special delivery. You can take it back and shove it up your a-hole. Okay, I'm not interested. Right, I need to recover the cache. First, I need loot. Okay, so there's nothing here that we can... Oh, there is. Yes, there is. I'll say there was nothing there for me to obtain them, but... kind of jinxed myself. There definitely was. Um, yeah, we're not going that way. Just checking if it's any for this area. <sighs> Doesn't look like there's anything else. Right, let's go ahead and eat and go collect the cashy. Like I said, guys, just always double check it. One more safe tech cash accounted for. Bring it on back to base. Got a blueprint of a Mendy Marksman mag. Nice. Right, let's get out of here, boys. Then my mission here is complete. It's going up. Um, right. Right, so what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more on the Division 2 beta. Hope, it, hope that each and every single one of you out there will have a marvellous day, and I'll see you again next time.